I faced the worst this city could throw at me, and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today, I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shamor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I can take care of myself, but that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. This is my story. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jagzy yet again, and I'm coming at you this time from Guild Wars 2 Beta. This short video is sponsored by Online Key Store, where Iron Pulse got their pre-order beta keys from. Uh, visit them at www.onlinekeystore.com. Iron Pulse is, of course, recruiting for Guild Wars 2. If you want to join us, at Google Iron Pulse and sign up on our forums. The beta kicked off initially with a few login connection errors, uh, but of course, perseverance paid off, and. Here's what happened. Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thackeray's calling for reinforcements at the garrison. If he's calling for help, it must be serious, but I can't call. spare anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's Reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. So I rolled a lady engineer for my first playthrough and as you can hear from the chatter in the background I was on the Iron Pulse comms uh, whilst recording this footage so you'll have to give the chatter in the background. Here you can see we're moving up to the first live event that you get to see. You've got to defend the keep. So the game throws you right in on the action straight away at level 1. You can see that we're battling here in a bottleneck type area. Uh, it's also other players as well as NPCs are helping them out. Uh, all things good to begin with then. Eventually you drive back the horde and are met with your first boss encounter. And all this at level one, ladies and gentlemen. You can see here that the abilities in my taskbar, 1, 2 and 3, are slowly unlocking as I'm using them. Uh, 1, 2 and 3 are usually from your main hand weapon, 4 and 5 from your off hand weapon, and the abilities that are locked to the right hand side uh, become unlocked later on at higher level, and they're interchangeable. Unfortunately, the frame rates weren't fantastic for the beta. Uh, lots of people suffered uh, lag spikes and uh, extended frame rate loss. But obviously, this played up the further away you got from the starting area, as there were less people around. I didn't really know what was going on at this stage. Uh, I just stepped into this epic boss battle at level 1, uh, but you can see that it's a great start, a promising start for what appears to be a fantastic game.
Uh, any player can res any other player. Uh, you can see there that uh, they're not dependent on the healing classes or healer tank, etc. from the other games. Any player can heal another. An epic boss battle over. Sets um, footing for the rest of the game. So, what's the rest of the game like? <laughs> well, it can get pretty mediocre at times. <laughs> Here we can see uh, one of the quests in the early starter regions, and essentially the quest is to click on a bush and kill whatever comes out of it. Interesting. Fortunately, not too much of the game is like this, and it just seems to be filler to get your uh, experience up and onto better things. I also find it a bit difficult to attack anything by myself at this stage. Obviously lots of people starting out at the exact same moment, at the exact same place. Uh, I didn't know at this point if I could kill a mob by myself. <laughs> uh, I was expecting something a bit more... Well, basic quest like this, but uh, hey, it's another MMO, right? Uh, side quests aside, obviously there are dynamic events that happen all over the place. Uh, you can come into an area and it tells you to defeat back, for example, some bandits that uh, are going on here and they have a morale percentage and you just keep killing these uh, mobs until the morale reduces to zero and you get yourself a reward at the end of it. Uh, here you can see the 3D map that has been employed, which is a pretty cool function. Uh, you can steer your character as you're running around the world as well. Uh, which brings us on to skill points. Uh, to unlock skill points, which are needed to get yourself some uh, better skills higher level, you need to complete some skill events. Uh, here we can see there's a group of players all banded up. I wasn't part of a group, but anybody could lock in and get reward from it. And uh, the intention is to loot the chest at the top underneath the tree there. And once you do that, you get yourself a skill point that you can spend on skills later on. Uh, this is pretty unique, I've not seen a game use this uh, strategy before. Obviously it makes the skill events pretty essential then, if you want to get yourself uh, as many skills as possible at high levels. It's all good. It can have a tendency to get a bit crazy sometimes. I died a lot more than I'm used to in an MMO in a starter area uh, throughout the beta, but obviously it just means that you need that little bit more skill and probably a bit more practice to get used to the dynamics of the game. So all in all, it seems to be a pretty decent game. Uh, there are some dynamic events that take place. You don't need to be uh, in a group. Obviously you can just chuck in and get involved in the activities that are going on. And I look forward to seeing you in game soon. Jaxi.